Hello everyone, this is Emil from iPhonePhotographySchool.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how I use Snapseed to go from this image to this beautiful uh, Instagram that I posted on my Instagram timeline. Now, in order to do this, I use Snapseed, which is my favorite photo editing tool. And now I'll just go to Snapseed and show you exactly how I did it. So first I'll revert this because I've already done this once. And now the original image is imported into Snapseed. And the first thing I want to do in order to create a beautiful Instagram is to crop this image. As you probably know, all images on Instagram are square, so I'm going to uh, hit the ratio button over here and choose one by one ratio. This way, That way my Instagram will already be squared, which will be way better once I try to upload it. And so here, it's essential that I choose the right uh, composition. Now, I don't really like the top part of the image, and I think that the most exciting stuff is going on at the bottom. Like, you can see this wonderful reflection, and you can see this stream of water flowing out of the tap. And I really want to put emphasis on those parts of the image, so what I'm going to do is... Um, and one more thing, I don't want to, this uh, dry path uh, to show up in, on the image, because it might distract the, read, uh, the viewer's eye. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, crop the image to something like this. Uh, I'll put the bottom left corner here so that the dry path stays out of the picture and I'll use two fingers uh, to make the square a little smaller. And I've played around with this quite a bit and after some time I decided that this sort of composition was really what I was looking for. Uh, perhaps I'll make it just a little bit bigger again using two fingers. Perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. So in order to save this, I'll just hit apply at the bottom right corner and now I already have the aspect ratio and the composition that I was looking for. Now this image is already a lot nicer than the previous one, but I think that it would really get better if I made it black and white. Because here it's not the color that adds value to the image, but it's really the beautiful reflections and the composition that I like. So what I'm going to do is go to Tune Image on the left and first I'm going to increase the ambience. So the way this works in Snapseed is that whenever you swipe your finger up or down vertically like this you get all these parameters that you can choose from and you can adjust them. So I'm going to select Ambience. And so once I've selected it I can adjust the value for Ambience by swiping from left to right. So that's what I'm going to do. And in this image, I think it would be a way better if I increased the ambience to something like 40. Now, in case you're wondering what ambience does, in this case, it really just helps us bring out detail from the darker parts of the image. So here, it allows me to really um, make the reflection part of the image more beautiful and show some details that might otherwise get lost because they were not exposed very well. So if I tap the compare button now, this is what I had before I increased ambience and now once I release it I get this. Now as I said before I want this image to be black and white so I'm gonna go to saturation and simply go all the way down to minus 100. So right now there are no colors left and it's black and white. But I think I can do more and the next thing I'm going to adjust is contrast. So I'll select contrast Increased, and I think I'm gonna increase the value all the way to something like 50. And it's kind of extreme, but then again, I'm creating an Instagram, and high contrast images generally tend to look better on the small iPhone screen. And I just like the way uh, that I can uh, really emphasize the shadow, the beautiful shadows, in, and the reflections by increasing the contrast here. And honestly, I think it's the shadows that make this image stand out, not anything else. So that's why high contrast works so well here. But now, there's one little problem. If you look at this image, you'll see that it's kind of dark. And, for example, if you look at the legs, they're essentially black. And that's not really what I was looking for. So what I'm going to do is go to brightness and increase the brightness as well. And once again, I'm going to increase it quite a lot. And I think I'm going to go all the way to something like 40. That's right. And so what I get now is a high contrast image that's also not too dark. And right now you can see, see that I still have preser preserved all the details on the floor. I still have the beautiful uh, reflections. 
and everything else, but while at the same time having a high contrast image that really beautifully emphasizes the shadows. So I think I'm done now, and what I'm going to do next is hit the apply button on the top, on the bottom right corner. This will process the image, and the only thing that's left now is to tap the save button. And once you do this, the image will be saved to camera roll. As I said before, this is an Instagram, so if I want to, I can immediately tap the share button, choose Instagram, open in Instagram, and now this very image will show up in Instagram, and I'll be ready to post it. Okay, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and to see more about iPhone photography and to see some of my work and how I take photos, please go to iphonephotographyschool.com and check out my blog. Thank you and stay tuned for more.